welcome, my beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much. You're going to enjoy this reading. Spirit jumped right out at me and said, this is what you need to bring to Gemini right now. And so I sat down and decided it was your turn to get a reading. Listen, guys, it's all about energy, right? And I'm more than a reader. I'm an energy healer, a Reiki master healer. And I do it in everything I do. I infuse Reiki into my readings and bring grounding. I've already done my clearing and sancti sanctifying the space, getting it ready for you and your reading. This reading is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If you have Gemini really powerful because of the Gemini Moon. And basically what they're saying is you have fierce independence. Okay. And this is where your success comes from. It says that this is the uh, goddess bast for my Geminis. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent. Yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities. So ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend some time alone. Give yourself permission to play. Ask for your needs to be met. Make your own decisions. Work with cats. Pay attention to your pet feline and or get a new cat. That is your goddess energy and it's really strong. The message here before I pray for you real quick is you are sitting in the energy of a portal of light. It's only the physical reality that's bound by time and space, Gemini. Your conscious beings on levels beyond the physical world. You're guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. It's multidimensional frequencies and it's understanding them, learning about them, guys, and how to use them in your own life. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work not leaving your earthly connection behind, but you're merely adding to it. Those who like the word, I use promises from the word. Whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. 2 Corinthians 9, 6. Gemini, that was for you. Thank you for being here. Bless you. The tone of love. Calling on the angelics. To be in our presence, holy energies, guided by God's own hand, guiding me into this reading for you, Gemini, bringing balance into your life. Is it marriage or is it just reconciliation? Let's look at it. Thank you for taking a moment to love on yourself while I called in the guides. Thank you for being here and hitting the like button for my video so it may be found. Let's see what the primary love message would be for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their primary message, Spirit? What's their main message? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. I feel like that's coming out of your soul because you're the lovers. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. It says, no, that's a knowing. I know that I know that I know, right? I have these cards here that's going to tell you what your person thinks. Uh, let me have another master love message about this marriage or just reconciliation. Gemini, reconciliation would be like somebody making peace with you, but they don't intend to move forward. They just want to make peace for some reason. I don't know. You would think otherwise, man. You think a reconciliation would be a relationship. <laughs> you know, relationship. I've been watching over, watching you over from every source. So they've been watching you. They've been watching you. Okay. Let's see, give me one more for Gemini before I pull out the other cards. 
Maybe I'm wearing a mask in our relationship to make this look more perfect. That is definitely somebody's message. Their relationship is in question because someone feels like they had to do something to impress you, to keep you or something, but they haven't told you everything. What is this relationship? Not perfect. Oh, oh, they're desperate for you. So whoever this is, they're desperate for you. I want to reach out for you now. This is someone desperate for your love. I, I need your love, 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 love. That's what I hear. <laughs> Dig it. Gemini, of course they do. You're the lovers. You're elegant beings. But you're also independent and powerful. You're not anybody to play with. Because, well, a lot of you are highly, highly, highly intuitive and psychic. Lovely. And you're like uh, starlight beings to me. You're like starlights. Yes, an honor to my beautiful Geminis. I call you precious gems. I love that about you. You're precious gems. So, unless you aren't. <laughs> my readings are not gender specific Gemini they are for who they are for you'll re relate to it or you won't if you don't don't get upset keep looking Go uh, this month I'm going to be uploading everybody's uh, reading right now I wanted to tap this in because this reading is about a person who's longing for you desperate watching you wants to come in this picture is popping out at me this picture is popping out at me I want to claim you and your heart's on fire. What is that message? Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. That could be a guardian angel too as well coming in to hug on you. You know? All right. Some of you needed to hear that. So tell me how Gemini is showing up at this time. Whoa. Uh... Two of Pentacles. So you're showing up as somebody who has options. You might be busy. You might be seeing more than one person. That's not if that if that doesn't apply to all of you. It's a possibility. The coins represent something you're doing. You could be having more than one job. You could be, um, you know, working and taking care of a home. You could be all of that. Um, your business, because remember, your vast energy. What is your challenge? Ace of Cups, love. Love. And the challenge is, you know, you're so busy with something else, there's hardly any time for love. But someone's digging on you really big. We're going to find out if it's, wow. All right. So your breakthrough is when you finally get in tune with that energy, Gemini, of um, your passionate side. When you meet that person, you're putting every damn thing down you got going on, and you're picking up that love. When you knew, if you know about this, how passionate? Why is the Queen of Wands passion, productivity, sexiness? She's bougie. She's public. She's passion. She just whatever she does, wants, she goes after. She doesn't hesitate. She's, a, however, a mature energy. She's a queen. You don't throw the queen energy. So you've owned your crown and you're getting back into your um, your desire to be with someone that you wanted to be the right one. And you're checking people out in the meantime to see, if, hey, is this balancing out for me? Is this the kind of love I want? Yep. She is. Um, okay. This is your advice. And your advice, Gemini, is if you're not comfortable with something, Cut it out. It will require you to speak your truth. And you might also be cutting out a fire sign out of your experience. Why? Because they're already married and they're free. Oh. All right. Some of you are going to have that challenge. They're possibly already married. And you're going to tell them, F now. Yeah. It's Queen of Cups in reverse. They they broke your heart. And so you are like, nope, 
that may be the one that wants to reconcile. Could be a because Gemini, you're right here. This is a fire sign. Your heart's turned upside down. You're not giving them love. Your Queen of Cups ain't showing. I'm sorry, Biatch. You did this to me. That's what I'm hearing. I'm only a channeler, okay? All right, so what is the Queen? What is your next move when it comes to that then? You're going right forward to your Ten of Pentacles and you're not going to play with anybody. You have abundance coming in a marriage and a family. Uh, it looks like everything you want and it could very well be some massive wow. What is your reward for turning this person out? Spirit. Gemini. Your reward for turning them out is that you won't have to put on a face to be with them anymore. Seven of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles upright. You will now be stable and comfortable in a relationship that is dependable. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. All right. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Geminis. Yeah, that was uh, Four of Cups. You had to come to reckon with something you were dealing with that was not pleasant, but you said, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm going to come out of that. So you're coming out of that, moving into a passionate state. Yeah. So let's find out about your person. Wow. Okay. That was you. Let's find out about your person now that we're talking about. Are they coming forward to offer marriage? Show us who this person is, what their challenges, what their breakthrough is, what their advice is, and what their outcome is when it comes to our precious gem. Holy Spirit, we need your divine guidance. Interpretation, please. Gemini. Someone rising, Venus, Martha, your person, please, Holy Spirit, tap me into the collective of Gemini. Someone rising, Venus, do they want marriage or do they just want to reconcile? Show me what they're doing. Who is it? Star in reverse, I feel like shit. This person from the past could have been an Aquarius. Um, and they could have been in the upside down. They, they Either they weren't healed or they weren't healing. What is that? Two of Swords in Reverse. They're really not feeling good about being apart from you. You got them like double blocked because there was something they were doing. Yeah. All right. What? Oh, wow. I'm not going to jump the gun. Hold on. For this person, wow. They do not want me to tell you this. I'm going to tell you anyway. Tell me. Um, four of Cups. I can't get no satisfaction, but I try, and I try. See, they're moping inside. They mope inside. This is why you broke up with them. What is their challenge? Not coming forward to you. Not being able to reach out to you. Not being able to move your way. Having tough decisions to make. Their heart's all over the place. Their emotions are everywhere. They're trying to figure out what to do. And, and have finally have something to look forward to. They are thinking of reaching out. That would be the X that, that's thinking of reconciliation. However, they don't have enough money to offer you anything. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they do not, you cannot trust them. The High Priestess in reverse. They do not trust themselves. They're all over the place and again married. So there's your proof of the past person already married. And they're like, ho oh, hum, I lost my Gemini. I hope someday I get to see them again. They blocked me. They double blocked me. I'm not a healer. I'm just a thief. I'm telling you what I get, Gemini. They make me mad. We're going to look at the marriage and, and uh, so this person wants reconciliation. We're going to ask after I throw this board, new love only for Gemini. Yeah? Show me what is on the headspace of this person for Geminis. Male or female? Show me. Mm, 14. Let's see. All right, this is, um, they're being creative. They're, they're, they're in their imagination. They're in their head. 
They're drawing pictures in their head, slow burning thoughts that they're trying to get rid of. Um, mm, they're assessing their situation as well. It could be a 14, could be a Sagittarius for some of you. What's on their mind? Show me. What's on this person's mind? When it comes to Gemini, please. Gemini needs to know. This is for, you know what, guys? This this is entertainment, enlightenment, encouragement, confirmation, synchronicities. But if it applies, it applies. And you're going to know. And if it doesn't, let it go. All right? Love you. Be sure to do one thing. Show me some love. I daydream about you often. That would make sense. She's looking at me. You know what I mean? Tell me more about what they want to say to Gemini. I don't know why I can't seem to stop watching you. I know why. Gemini is amazing. Vibrant. You don't know how many times I wanted to reach out to you. Huh. Wow. One more. Hmm. No, nope, that's all they wanted me to bring. Will they reach out? Let me use this deck and find out. So will they actually get the boss to reach out again? Or do can you have you got them so utterly blocked they can't find you? I mean, if they're married, who the hell wants out? Second, they're still married. And you're still in your sacred. So you're still waiting for a person that is worthy of you to come in. Right? Wow. So we see that now, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. So who's coming in to show love, actually make a solid offer so Gemini can go forward and create plans for their life and be grounded and not be worrying about somebody lying to them, gaslighting them, you know, um, doing crazy, creepy things in the background, but being married, teasing them, taking them, you know, that's not cool. You guys are intellects. You need to be treated as such, you know? New love coming to Gemini. Tell us who it is, please. Show us who it is, please. Show us who it is, Spirit. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. What does that represent? The Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yes. Here's what we have, Gemini, at this point. If anyone was to come in to make you a solid offer at this time, it would probably be someone who's been watching you from the background quietly keeping it to themselves. Um, this is a high regard person. This is a spiritual person. This is a person who connects to God and understands the laws of the universe, can keep things sacred, keep things holy and sacred, follow the law. This is someone you would want to be with in the upright. And it could be a female as well. This is an offer from God, gift, ready, Gemini. Money, a relationship, something solid, an offer that is productive and contains something wealthy, something you can grow with. You can take one coin and invest it in something and make it grow, right? They have to offer it to you. It has to be there. And so they're communicating with you or they will be soon or travel in your direction, right? This is fast-moving passion. They have to make a decision here. They're balancing things out right now. But their outcome and their goal is to bring you a relationship and build with you. And this is solid. They want to make that, that coin, that pentacle, multiply. And that could also be a family. Um, they're making this decision at this time. That's really cool, you guys. Let me have a Romance Angel deck for a card for my beautiful Geminis. My precious gems. I thank you so much for subscribing. If you want to see what I'm putting up, hit the all bell, please. If you want to support my channel and get in on free gifts uh, uh, and get in on free readings, I'm giving away my sacred, sacred spiritual spray set for your spiritual practices, clearing, attracting, and to sanctify, setting the setting the uh, spiritual tone. It is beautiful. All of them are beautiful and elegant and highly favored. 
um, they sell like crazy. Right now, though, I have um, a special sale for Christmas. You can go get buy one, get one. That's been going on for a while. Some lovely gifts to give someone because you're raising their vibration. Everything's Reiki and Pollen and prayed over. What's the love message for my Geminis? All right, that person had a codependency issue. You're in the process of releasing the X. Forgiving and learning. Of course you are. That's your high superpower. And I think you may be making the effort to reach out to somebody too. You could be doing that yourself. Someone that you believe has the same, same faith as you, which could actually be a very good foundation for a relationship. Calling in the soulmate. My beautifuls, look at you. Who's your guide? Who's your higher guide? Who's keeping an eye on gems? Right now? Thank you so much for donating. Any donator that donates to my channel any amount on any of my pay links, trust me. You go in my prayers, deep prayers. I have deep conversations with God. I question. I do. I, I do. I'm bold. I'm like, okay, I understand. Let's do this now. Let's do this. Thank you for raising wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So that's what they wanted to leave you with, my loves. You're very independent and you're powerful. I love you very much. Please show me some love back. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, Geminis. If you'd like to have your own reading, you can go to my website and you can go to the shop and scroll down. It doesn't matter what the, the price is ranging depending on the services provided. A Reiki and a reading session would be 30 minutes. You'd get your maybe 45 minutes for those. Sometimes they stretch out. And we would do healing. We would focus on what you need healing on, right? I would do like a chakra reading, and then we would focus on that. And then we would take that, and I would send you Reiki immediately. And you would be uh, start to feel the push of the energy change around you and start to make you vibrate higher and be free of things because I can help you with that. So you can order those um, $111 readings. I also include your Mayan Oracle in that so you know what the uh, ancient Sanskrit has with your um, ancient ancient verbiages for your <clears throat> birthday, right? Well, how important you are in the planet, what you have to do here, right? I love doing that. For now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thumbs up. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, working with the angels, finding peace, and being the bright lights that you are. I love you, Gemini. Go join me on Patreon if you want to support me and get free readings, okay? Or join the channel as well. Uh, and on my lives, you get free meetings. So why not? I love you much. Namaste.